Askew, Caller 10 is your local election headquarters. Polls are officially open in the Ozarks for the midterm election. Many federal, state, and local issues will be decided today, but before you head to the polls, we check in with Color 10's Joshua Pineda, who is live at Missouri State University's Welcome Center, which is one of four central polling locations. He's going to make sure you have what you need to be able to cast your vote today. Josh, good morning. Jesse and Jen, good morning. I'm here at the Missouri State Welcome Center where it is officially 6.02 o'clock, which means that the voting polls are now open for you to be able to come here and cast your ballots. But before you head out of the door this morning, here are a couple of things that you need to know before you come and cast your ballots here today. Now, you must bring a valid form of photo ID with you to, to your registered poll. And there are a couple of different options of an ID that you could bring. A non-expired driver's license or non-driver's license, for one. And two, you could, if you serve in the military, you can bring your non-expired military ID or veteran's ID card. Or you could bring a non-expired U.S. passport, which will also work at your registered polling center. Or if you have a photo ID issued by the U.S. or the state of Missouri, can also be used. Now, if you forgot to bring your ID with you or if you do not have an ID, a photo ID at all and are but are registered to vote, there is another way to cast a ballot for the election. You can cast a provisional ballot. A provisional ballot allows you to still cast a ballot if you forgot to bring an ID or don't have one, but the following bullet points on your screen must, hap must happen to make your ballot count. One, if you uh, cast a provisional ballot and you return to your polling place on election day with a photo ID, then your provisional ballot will count. Or the signature on your provisional ballot matches a signature on your voter registration record, then your provisional ballot will also count. And after talking with Greene County Clerk Shane Scholler about voting with a provisional ballot, he says that there is a very high likely chance that your ballot will end up counting. Now, coming up later in the show, I'll be talking with Greene County Clerk Shane Scholler about all things voters, uh, about all the things that voters need to know with them today about the election. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Joshua Pineda, Ozarks First.